Yo, what are you saying, guys? It's H said here. Today, man's gonna show you how to make dark samples for Cube Beats and Frank Dukes. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so before we break down the sample, I'm literally just gonna play the finished product. So here it is. <laughs> First thing I did was I literally grabbed this key. Yes, this is a very long chain. Don't worry, I'll break everything down simply. But um I used this liquid vox key, I can't remember which bank it is, it's from one of these. But yeah, this is what it sounds like without any mixing. So what I did was, I added an EQ, a reverb, RC20, and some isotope violin to make it vintage as hell. And this is what it sounds like now. And yeah. So the next thing I did was I added this, um, I think it's a, it's, it's pretty much a B-Tech organ. But it's called pluck. That and I literally did a simple chord progression, and so this is what it sounds like. So what I added on this was just a simple EQ. Yes, I cut it very low. I just didn't want it to be loud because look what it sounds like without it. <laughs> Terrible, it? But uh, I added a reverb and RC20 again. The next thing I did was I added this kalimba, but it says um, pluck. It's just a bit, it's just edited in it. So um, I literally did a, a simple top line, and this is what it sounds like. idea behind this was literally just to make this unique as hell i just wanted to sound different i didn't want to sound the same so yeah and what i did was i added an eq reverb rc20 you know the vibes but anyways yeah uh the next thing i did was i added this lead i can't remember what one shot is but what one shot kit is from but if you find it you find it in it and i literally did a simple just, I don't even know, just key progression whatever and yeah this is what it sounds like What I did was I added a panjiment. I don't think I added a preset. And then I added this wave thing. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I think Meta Filter. It's gone now for some reason. But um, and then I added a RC20 and a reverb. No EQ on this one. And this is what it sounds like so far. <laughs> It sounds like just weird, random, out of place. And so what I did was, let me close this up. So this looks very complicated, I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of automation, but it's simple, okay. So I had the original sample. Let me play it real quick. So what I did at the end was I literally reverbed it. I'm not reverbed it, I reversed it. So it originally would sound like this. And I added this automation by literally going to here, 
automate and volume and then I just did that to give it that effect. Now I sound like this. Just to spice it up a bit. And then I did the same thing here. And then these little um, volume multipliers are just fade-ins. So like the beat, um, the sample is smooth and like it doesn't cause clicks. But still it did. And a way to fix this is literally go here, de-clicking mode, click generic, smooth across fade, whatever suits you. Like literally you don't have to do any of this. But yeah, what I did was I have everything laid out here. And I think I designed to this um, pad or organ, what you can call it. Yeah, this hard to it. Let me see how it sounds uh, without this. Yeah. This shouldn't sound like that for some reason. I don't know why. But. Um, yeah, so I just lay everything out, the organ, kalimba, and then the lead and all that. And it's all laid out here. And then after, I just stem it out. And then after, I exported it. And then I don't think I touched it. I don't think I pitched it down, none of that. I just normalized it, turned it down. And that's what it sounds like. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, what, I, oh my God. <laughs> what I added on the master was, oh my god, it's not what it should. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> what I did was, I literally um, added this frequency thing. I literally uh, turn up the mid, high mids, and after I added, added a RC20 with some space, and that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. If you want more of these videos, please let me know in the comments. I'd be 100% down to do them. And yeah, that's how you make a dark simp. That's how you make a dark sample for Q Beats and Frank Cheeks.